The taller man weighs 232. His boxing skills are supposed to be his edge. Sam Peter at 247 is regarded as the harder puncher of the two. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Samuel Peter Yankee Diaz fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules that you see on your screen. Jim, real quick, the four criteria that the judges will use to score each individual round, clean punching, effective aggressiveness, ring generalship, and defense with a strong emphasis on clean, effective punching. Jim. All right, Harold, and get ready for Yankee Diaz, who was an understudy to Feliz Sabon for years in the heralded Cuban amateur slash Olympic boxing program and ultimately defected to Mexico saying, I'll do better in the professional ranks. From there, he walked, more or less, to Las Vegas. He comes out of the Cuban tradition of heavyweight started by Teofilo Stevenson, who won four gold medals at the Olympics, and Felix Savon, who won a bunch of them himself. His first round KO of Juan Carlos Gomez was a shock to the boxing world. Let's see if it turns out really to have been a meaningful credential for him. And since the knockout of Gomez, two more wins, including a win over veteran Vaughn Bean, went the distance with, among others, Evander Holyfield. Roy, how significant do you think the knockout win over Gomez was? I think it was significant to, in a case, but what you have to remember is that they're from the same country. They probably had a little bit of history already. And here's Sam Peter. And as Roy makes the point about the history of the two Cuban fighters, Peter Larry is the latest Nigerian heavyweight to come off of what is becoming an assembly line. Yeah, in the last decade, we saw Ike Bayabuchi, of course, uh, perhaps the most talented heavyweight uh, who had troubles outside the ring, David Aizan and Henry Akinwande. He insists that unlike them, he will get to the top of the mountain. What's more important for a heavyweight, Roy, that he can punch or that he can take a punch? It's more important that he can take a punch. If he can punch, it's okay, but if he can take a punch, he's more deadly because he can hang around and pull off victories. Perfect example, Chris Bird is not one of the biggest punches of the division, but because he can take a punch, he's a survivor. He's still a champion right now today. So that's a credential we'll be looking for in whoever emerges from this test between Peter and Yankee Diaz. And there's a look at recent credentials for Peter. Charles Shippard was a knockout victim for Vladimir Klitschko, but went the distance with Peter. Some people thought that was a black mark against Peter's record, but it was erased by the giant knockout of Williams. Now let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to the home of the Heat, American Airlines Arena here in Miami, Florida, where tonight, Top Rank Incorporated is proud to present an evening of professional boxing for your entertainment. Sponsored tonight by Sportsbook.com and all bouts sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission. The three judges at ringside scoring this contest will be Emil Conforti, Michael Pernick, and Mark Streisand. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Brian Gary. This first bout brought to you in association with Duva Boxing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of boxing. This is in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red, white, and blue, official weight, 232 pounds. Professional record, 13 victories, including eight knockouts, with only one defeat. Amasi Caballeros de Pinar del Rio, Cuba. Here is a Yankee. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue, official weight, 247 pounds. A perfect professional record consisting of 21 bouts, 21 victories, including 18 knockouts. Originally from Nigeria, now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, here's the undefeated Nigerian nightmare, Samuel Peter. All right, gentlemen, I'll be the third man in here in charge of this bout at all times. 
I give you a command to break, you break cleanly. If you score on knockdown, you go to the neutral corner, do not come out till I signal. Avoid the use of your head as a weapon, no rabbit punches or low blows. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up, come out fighting at the bell. Box. 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 This was the week of inaugural balls for us. This is the inaugural brawl of the season. And with a 16 and a half foot ring, one of the smallest we've seen, it should be a brawl. <laughs> and at 16 and a half feet, that's a Sam Peter ring for these circumstances, right, Roy? Yes, it is, because Yankee D is coming from the Cuban uh, descendant. He probably is more of a boxer than a power puncher. Definitely. Describes himself that way and hopes that his boxing skills will give him the edge. There's Peter trying to throw the same big left hook that put away Jeremy Williams. Sam Peter can also punch with the right hand. And Diaz is treating him with great care at this moment. These fighters have sparred a number of rounds previously and know each other well. And that's playing into this early part of the fight. And not terribly surprisingly, their, their descriptions of what happened in the sparring sessions differ dramatically. Did Peter hurt Lopez with that punch? He hit him with yes, a solid did. right hand. And Diaz wisely took a knee because he was stunned. Seven. Eight. Don't turn your back. Don't turn around. Bucks. So already Sam Peter with a psychological statement as he's able to wobble Yankee Diaz with the right hand, and eventually Diaz elects to take the knee. It's what does that do to Diaz's confidence, Roy? Doesn't do much. He was out of place. He didn't know where he was. He did the right thing because he got spin around, and he lost his vision for a minute. So he took a knee so that he didn't get caught with something unsuspected and go down. Watch your head. Problem, though, of course, Wait. is that Diaz's plan for winning the fight involves winning rounds. And now Sam Peter has more or less ensured himself of winning the first one unless Diaz can knock him down in the remaining 115. The big problem that Diaz is going to have, right, is like Larry said, no, this is a very back. small ring, turn, so it's very back. difficult for him to get away from Peter. Yes. Diaz's manager, Wes Wolf, was spitting nails about the size of the ring before the fight. He said, well, at least the canvas is hard and firm, so it's a fast track. I got you, I got you. Three. Step back Short, quick little right hand by Diaz. And Peter lands the right hand. And the left hook hurt Diaz badly inside. And Diaz grabbed and held on after Sam Peter caught him with a short left hook. Peter Three. looks uh, like Out. some of the rough edges have been smoothed off since the last time we saw him a year and a half or so. He patiently stalking. Um, I got you, gentlemen. No punch. You're tired and of not it. trying to force the knockout. Well, he, realizes, he realizes he may have to go 12 rounds here, so. Seven. Six. No punch. No punch. Come on out of there. Good professional first round by Sam Peter, hoping to stamp himself a real contender here. Samuel, he's got good pressure you're putting on him, but the thing is you have to work your jab to get inside. He's up there, he's high up, and so he don't want you to hit him in the head. You have to work to the body, man. You have to